Welcome back everybody. This video is about adding pages to your digital portfolio. If you're not sure how to get back to your digital portfolio to add pages, as a reminder, you'll just go to sites.google.com. Since you've already made your digital portfolio at this point, ideally you just see that one website. Again, I've created quite a few websites for different purposes, but hopefully you just see your one website uh, as your digital portfolio. You can click to open that. And I want to stress that you have one website, but it can grow and grow and grow over time. That's part of what this video is about, adding pages so that your digital portfolio grows to, to share your full learning story, to share all the, the interesting things that you're learning. So let's say you're in an Avid class or there's uh, some Avid strategies being shown to you and you need to make a page in order to share some of the things you're learning about Avid strategies. And uh, the way you'll do that is after you've opened up your website and you're in the editor, you click on pages. Right now I've got one page, but I wanna add another page. I wanna add, I'll hover over the plus symbol and click on a new page. And I want to add a page about Avid. I'll click done. And now you'll see up in my navigation menu, I've got two links. I've got a home page, I've got an avid page. I'll show you that one more time real quick. Um, perhaps you're, you're learning about behavioral and social emotional learning, and there are a few things you've been learning about and you wanna share what you've chosen as uh, things you've learned that, that apply directly to your experience and, and your learning and your growth. So you wanna make a behavioral and social emotional learning page. Again, you're going to be on pages right here. And then you'll click on new page and you can call this uh, your behavioral, social, emotional learning page, or maybe you're, you're adding a page about confidence building, you're adding a page about conflict resolution, whatever it is you're adding a page about, you can put the title in right here. Click done. And there we go, I've, I've added two pages here. And as always, whenever you have finished uh, adding something or making a change on your website, in order to make the changes show on the internet, you need to click on the publish button. If you see something like this pop up, this is Google Sites telling you, hey, maybe you wanna review the changes. Are you sure you wanna do this? What I suggest is in order to avoid having to go through this step, you can change your publish settings so that you don't need to review changes before publishing. Just uncheck that box and click save, and then click publish. And now your site has been successfully published with the two new pages. You're not really limited with the number of pages that you can have. So my suggestion is uh, to add and add and add according to what your teachers are asking you to do or according to what you wanna share on your digital portfolio. There is not really a limit. You can you can make as many pages as you as you wish. You can also make sub pages. So let's say you wanted to have a page about building confidence. Click done. Notice it adds it up here as another tab. Let's say you don't want to have it as a tab. You want to have it show underneath your BSEL page. You can click and drag this page and drop it in the BSEL section. You can see it creates now a little drop down menu. And just like before, I'm going to click on publish because I just made a change. All right, that's adding pages.